Hello YouTubers, this is James, and we are going to be recording this year's sealed event. I'm going to be opening mine. Welcome to the lounge. Yay, I'm back. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all probably haven't seen me here in a while, but let's go ahead and get this stuff opened up. We'll see if we can build a deck that can beat Derek. I don't know what he's got. He won't know what I have. This is going to be fun. All right. I'm just going to skip through all this because you all have probably seen all these newer cards. I do not know any of these. So this is going to be different from for me. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, I forgot we get these now. The uh, werewolf cards. My rare is the Asylum Visitor. And my werewolf is the Breakneck Rider. I got a full mul mul graph. Let's go ahead and sort these into a little pile here. Please forgive me, it's been a while. I forget how to do things. I'll try to sort it into the pile as I go. And I got a clue. Cool. Straighten this up. Now you can see where I'm putting the pile. Yeah. All right. So, ooh, hey, dead weight. Good old dead weight. Woodland stream, huh? Hmm. That's cool. My rare is the Falcon Wrath Gorger. What does he do? Each vampire creature card you own isn't on the battlefield has madness. Madness costs equal to its mana cost. Huh. Oh. The logger, huh? It's gonna be a pretty cool card. Hey, I got one of the flippies. Uh-oh, I messed it up. So, uh, I haven't really been involved with much of this set as of late. Tireless Tracker is my rare. What in the... No way. Oh, that's cool. I got a rare flippy card. Alright. Tireless Tracker, Guest Off, and Thing in the Ice. Ooh, that thing just looks cool. I'll read the, more about that later on. Ooh, I got one of the cool cards. But yeah, I mean, trying to get life on track. Get everything taken care of. But I have a feeling that you're going to see a little bit more of me. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was a uh, Avicen. I was like, yeah! Griff's Boon. That's cool. Nephelia Moondrakers. Cool. 
Hey, they brought the homunculus back. Ooh, that card looks pretty cool. It's a nice little zombie. You know me and my zombies, guys. I love them. And my hydras. Olivia's Bloodsworn. That looks pretty cool. And my rare is a dual land. Choked Estuary. Cool. Hair of the Falcon Wrath. It's my flippy. Zombie token. Yay, zombie tokens. Haven't seen a mythic yet. They get that rare flippy though. <laughs> Warped in landscape again. Twins of the Mar Estate. Oh, that just looks creepy. I think I'm gonna like that card. Inner struggle and harness the storm is my rare. There we go. Ooh, pick the brain foil. shiny and clue all right guys so this right here was my opening um give me a little bit to take a little peek at these cards and figure out what i'm working with because uh, like i said i have not seen this set at all but i'll be back and be sure to rate comment and subscribe welcome back guys this is james yet again obviously don't question it and um you know who I'm with. I'm with MTG Lounge. Barely, but still here. All right, let's go ahead and just start looking at these cards. I've got three of these here, Mordlin Drifters. Another kind of cool cards. Two for a 2-2. Two -two. Um, that can gain flying. I mean, obviously, that's going to be a great boon. Avison mis uh, Missionaries. It's 3-3 three, three for 4. I need to equip it in order to uh, get it over to a four, but I don't. Oh, I got one equipment and it sucks. So, Griff's Boon, from what I understand, is a really good card. Um, Emissary of the Sleepless, bound by Moon Silver, can lock something down forever. Uh, I mean, I just I have some really good stuff in white. Yeah. Oh, I got two puncturing lights, which can destroy and target attacking or blocking creature. That's nice. All right, so white. Um, it's more than likely a definite. I believe I'm gonna run some white. Uh, let's take a look at blue. Blue here. I got some fun stuff for blue. Uh, sleep paralysis. Catalog, of course. The Moon Drakes. Let's see, that's a 5-5 five, five for 7. Flyer. But I mean, in this in this version of whatever, it's it's good. And then the Thing in the Ice. I'm going to need a lot of, what is it? Uh, instant or Sorcery cards, which I've got a couple, but not really enough to use it. Um, let's see, 1-5 Flyer. Not really. So, I mean, blue doesn't really have any good things, and it's got maybe one or two, but not enough to actually warrant running its color. So, blue's kind of out of here. So, I'm going to set you over there. Uh, let's go to green. Let's take a nice little look at green. Green, from when I was looking at it, has a lot of stuff that allows me to gather clues like these, even wall mysteries. I got three aim highs, which are pretty good their instance for two untapped target creature and it gets plus two plus two and gains reach i mean kind of hard to beat that um now i got my werewolves here which i have to basically stop them from either i could not cast anything or they could not cast anything and then i got these two people who are apparently loggers just chopping down the wood 
Uh, Halpack Resurgence looks like a really good card for a werewolf deck. Sort of like that old uh, Innistrad card. Um, I've, I've got a lot of good green stuff here, especially with the clues. I'm going to hold this off on the side as a maybe. So we're going to just put it right there. Um, this right here is just my multicolor. I'm not going to be using any of it except for maybe these two. We'll see what colors I run. Uh, let's do red. Harness the storm. I like a, I like quite a few of these, but hmm. structural distortion. Th that's what really got me was the structural distortion. The fact that I've got three of them, and there's not much red. So red's kind of out of here. Um, I did get some pretty good cards for it though. I got the uh, Stencia Masquerade, the uh, Gustav Arsonist, and the Falcon Raft Gorger. Hmm. But I mean, I just got too many useless cards in there that I'm not going to be using. So red is out. Now let's take a look at black. One of my favorite colors. Pick the brain. That's a pretty good card. Um, I just I love this card. The Revenant. It's a three for a one three lifelink skulking spirit. Pretty good. Uh, four for a two four. Whenever it dies, player discards a card. Sign of Ashmouth. I'm not really too big of a fan. Tooth Collector. I like. Uh, it just it helps so much. Now I got this here, 2 1 Flying Crow for 3. It's a flyer. And I got Shambleback, which is probably one of my favorite cards that I've seen. 1 for a sorcery, exile target creature card from a graveyard, put a 2 2 black zombie creature into the great into the battlefield, and I get 2 life. For 1. 1 guys. Hair of the Falcon Wrath. Pretty good. She switches over to a 3 2 flyer. And Twins of Moor Estate. I got two of them. So, Quadruplets of Moor Estate. Pretty, pretty fun cards. Asylum Visitor, pretty decent card. Oh, my bad, let me recenter that. Dead Weight, pretty fun card. And Murderous Compulsion, which can get rid of something for two. So, Black is a more likely definite. So let's go ahead and just see I'm going to be running black, green, and white. Not really. Uh, no. I'm not going to run either one of those because they enter intact. Alright. Which means, since I'm not going to be running that stuff, this one's out. Alright, Moreland Drifters, I like them because 2-2 two, two for 2 for Flyer, that's good. Puncturing Light, I got two of those, they're in. Uh, Devil Thorn Fox can kill something, it's 2 for a 3-1. It's just powerhouse, and especially if they don't have anything to block it, that's good. The, the Missionaries, uh, it's a maybe, possibly. Griff's Boon, yeah, it's going in there. So I can give something flying. Uh, Emissary of the Sleepless, it's 5 for a 2 4 flyer. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, if creature died this turn, put a 1 1 white spirit token. I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. We'll see. Bound by Moon Silver, that's a good one. Vessel of Amphara. Sacrifice it. Put two one one white spirit creature tokens. It's okay. We'll see about that. Travian Inspector. One for a one two. I mean that's already pretty good. Um, whenever it enters the battlefield, I get to investigate. I get a clue token. That's pretty good. Paranoid Parish Blade. Three for a three two. Uh, as long as there are four or more. 
Uh, I mean, it, it can get really good with a plus one, plus oh, and first strike. So, that one's pretty good. Four for a three, three. When it enters the battlefield, creatures I control get plus one, plus one. So that could be a good boost card. So, all right. There's that. These are maybes. Um, the Mulgraf Scavenger. Zero, four for two. Gets plus three, as long as there are four more card types. Well, there's definitely gonna be that. Either way, it's a zero, four. That's a good de uh, defender. Uvenwald Mysteries, I like this card, but I doubt I'm going to be using it because it's just for clues. It just gives me a clue. That's pretty much it. Uh, aim High, I really like because I can untap anything at any time, give it a boost, and it gains reach, so I can stop a lot of stuff. Uh, Solitary Hunter, he's okay. The Logger, she's 2 1 for 2. Turns into a 4 2. Um, I'll, I'll run her. Why not? This one I just get a land back. Not really my thing. To a creature, add one mana of any color. For a dryad horror, one for a 1 2. I mean, that's already good enough. Call of the Waxing Moon. Creature put a. Uh, I'm not going to be running enough werewolves for that to really matter. Intrepid. Provisioner. 4 for a 3-3 three, three with Trample. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, another target human I control gets plus 2, plus 2. That's pretty good. Halpack Resurgence, not going to matter because I'm only running one werewolf. Root Out, doesn't matter. The Patrol. 4 for a 3-3. Three, three, the beginning of the instead, whenever you sacrifice. Three or more clues, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. So if I have something big, I can just sacrifice three clues and put put it out there immediately. That's oh, that's pretty good actually. Whenever it deals, whenever this card deals damage, I get to investigate. So that's pretty good. Tireless Tracker. That's pretty good. When Landers the Battlefield under your control, I get to investigate. It's three for a three-two. Veteran Cathar. I'm gonna be running white, so. Target human I control can gain double tap, and it's a 2 2. For 2. <laughs> yeah, double tap. You heard me right. I meant to say double strike, but whatever. Double tap. Mm -hmm. Kakao. Confront the unknown. 1. Investigate, and then a target tr creature I control gets plus 1, plus 1. I mean, that's good. I can give something plus 1, plus 1 for basically free. So these are not going to be used. Pick the brain I like, it just, it costs so much. Um, probably a maybe. Um, two for a 2-1 flyer. That's pretty good. Um, the skulking lifelink zombie for 3-1-3. Three, three. Eh, I mean, not too bad, not too bad. This one I doubt I'm going to run just because it's kind of expensive for a 2. But, I mean, whenever it does die. Stallion of Ashmouth. This one right here, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of iffy on. I'm probably just not going to run this one. I, I'm going to need this space more than I am going to, because that costs a little bit to get plus one, plus ones on it. Tooth Collector I like, because every time it's the opponent's turn, I can pick one of their monsters and they get minus one, minus one. Crow. Three for a two-one flyer. I mean, it's a flyer. Enters the battlefield or dies. Put the top two cards of your library into the graveyard. That's really the only downside to it. That's a pretty big downside. Whenever you only have a forty-card deck, so probably not. Shamble back. That's a definite. I mean, <laughs> not even gonna argue with myself on that one. Hair of the Falcon Wrath. I like her. She's going in. Twins. Uh, the twins I can cast for three. I, I just have to wait a turn. And three, for, three, five. That's pretty good. The Asylum Visitor. Three, one for two. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. And a Madness of two. 
Speaking of each player's upkeep, if a player has no cards in hand, I get to draw a card and lose a life. Eh. Dead weight I love, and murderous compulsion, I get to kill a card. Alright, so these are no's. They're up here. Now it's time for the hard part. To go through and pick the cards that I want for this deck. Alright, I'm taking all of them. Alright, we'll see you guys later in the next episode. Of, no, I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to figure this out together. Inspiring Captain. Um, Alright, one, two, three, four. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So that's almost like my entire deck right there. <laughs> With no land. Maybe I just throw, I don't know, six land in there. We'll just call it, call it square Z. <laughs> looks, looks pretty good. Um, I'll get rid of the Revenant. He's not really that big of a deal. The uh, Bloodsworn can't block, but it's a 2-1 Flyer, which I really like. The Tooth Collector, I'll sack him. Shambleback, you're not going to get rid of that one. Well, I'm not. Y'all can eat me. I'll get rid of one of these Twins, because they are kind of expensive, and I have to wait a whole turn to use them. If I don't want to pay that. Uh... Silent Visitor, Dead Weight, Murder's Compulsion, I'm keeping. The Scavenger, uh, we'll get rid of him. Aim High, I just love that card. The Hinterland Logger, uh, the Dryad, we'll get rid of him. He's kind of unimposing. Doesn't really have a lot to him. The uh, Intrepid Provisioner. Whenever it enters the battlefield, the target human I control. I don't really know how many humans I have. Actually, I have a lot of humans, it looks like. Yeah, I've got a lot of humans. So. Where was I? I was right. I'll get rid of the logger. Logger's not really that big of a deal. Target human. I'll get rid of this investigate card. I mean, I've got plenty of investigate in here. All right, let's count this out now. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I just went stupid there for a second. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. We need two more to make it a pretty basic. Uh, let's see, what can I get rid of? Not getting rid of that. I'll get rid of him. I'll get rid of. Uh, oh, hey, get over here. I don't really like the asylum visitor as much. So, all right. Let's get these cards out of here. <clears throat> so I am going to be running Olivia's Blood Swarm, two Shamblebacks, Hair of the Falcon Wrath, Twins of Mara Estate, Dead Weight, Murderous Compulsion, Three Aim Highs, uh, Intrepid Pro Provisioner, uh, Briar Bridge Patrol, Tireless Tracker, Veteran Cathar, more uh, three la more Land Drifters. Two Puncturing Lights, a Griffin's Boon, or a Griff's Boon, Bound by Moon Silver, uh, Thraben Inspector, Paranoid Parish Blade, and Inspiring Captain. Be sure to vote for me, not Derek, because Derek's just Derek. So, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and wish me luck, because I'm going to need it.